Hey everyone, how's it going? Today I want to talk about a not so used option, tool, setting, whatever you want to call it, in Hive OS, which a lot of newbies are not even realizing it's there, and even some veterans on some use cases are not even using it, and it's there for your benefit. So today I'm going to talk about the auto fan setting. Okay, so we are on my newest little rig that it's actually sitting up top here right now. I haven't taken it to the uh, crypto closet yet, so real easy to work on it. So what we have here is we're doing CPU mining for Raptorium, and we also have my replacement RX Vega 56 from PowerColor that I will show in another video here real soon. But right now, up top here, you got all these different options and see this green one right here that means it's activated right now that is auto fan normally when you first install hive os it is gray like most of the rest of this gray white whatever you want to call it um because it's not activated so what this does is it automatically adjusts the fan sped fan settings to your specification for temperature so this way it doesn't overspin your fans and wear them out prematurely, whereas some people would just set the fans on all their cards to 100%. Now, if you're chasing mega hash numbers and you're literally pushing your card to a limit, chances are your card might have to run to 100%, but you're also shortening the life of the GPU fans. Granted, they are easy to replace. Uh, they're not that expensive to replace, but why bother? If you don't need to, I run all my cards in more of an efficiency setting. If you look on the screen right now, that Vega 56 is doing 170 mega hash. If I tune it up more, I can get almost 200 out of there, but she's going to be screaming and those fans are going to be running 100%. So it's not worth it. Conversely, if you're another person who loves to set your fans at 60%, just manually, right down here, which doesn't even show up right now. Like if you went into the flight sheet and right here, fan percentage, and you put in 60%, so the fans would always run 60%. The problem with that is, what if the room that it's in starts heating up? The fan will not be able to speed up due to the fact that the core and the RAM on that GPU is heating up. It doesn't care. It's still going to do 60% and you risk overheating your GPU. Granted, there should be some sort of safeguard somewhere that might just shut off Hive OS or stop mining, but the less heat you have in your GPU, the more longevity you have in it. So this is the other use case for it. Now, if we go up to mine, and just click on it, it says critical temperature, 90 degrees C. That's when, with this activated, if it sees any card and it's ramped it up as fast as it can from what you set and it still can't cool those cards, if those cards hit 90 degrees C, it's shutting itself off. It's going to save itself. Now, you can lower that and raise that whichever way you want to. Um, like right now, it says stop miner, reboot it, or shut down. So you have one of three options. I really haven't played with that part yet, but here, you got to turn the auto fan on. For me, on the Vega cards, I want to keep the core below 65C or at 65C or below. And then the memory, uh, for some reason this one is not, oh wait, yes it is, duh. If I click out here, see here's the core and here's the RAM. So the RAM's running at 57 deg uh, degrees C right now. I don't want that RAM to go over 70 degrees C. If it does go higher than that, ramp up the fans. Now always, some people would set the minimum fan for like 25%. Granted, it's really freaking quiet at 25%. The problem is though, a lot of older cards also have individual heat sinks on the DDR, DDR5 RAM. And if you don't have enough airflow even going through it, even though the core is nice and cool, and you can't see the temperature for the RAM, the RAM might be overheating. So good rule of thumb is to keep the minimum fan speed about 50 to 60%. I usually shoot for 60%. At that point, the cards are still actually pretty quiet. It's once you start going over about 80% that they really start making a lot of noise. Now, at the same time, 
max fan speed 100%. So if this card really started heating up, Hive OS will automatically ramp those fans in increments all the way up to 100% if need be to help keep that card cool. So if the room temperature comes down, it'll bring it down to the minimum of 60%. If the room gets 100 degrees, like when I first moved over to my um, mining closet, and it was like 99 degrees in there, it automatically ramped all those Vega 56s and 64s, the Vega FE, and also a few of my Polaris cards. Ramped them right up almost to 100% so the cards wouldn't overheat. That's the beauty of this option, and it should be used. Um, now, they have an option here for no AMD and reboot on errors. I didn't even turn that on. The only thing I can see the no AMD being used for, and I personally have never had a need for it, is when you're doing mixed rigs, when you have a combination of AMD and NVIDIA cards. I run all AMD or all NVIDIA on separate mining rigs, so that's not an issue for me. If you have a problem with it and you try using this feature, that might help you, and then you have to manually set the AMD um, fan curves if you have to. I'm not sure. Not my use case. And that's all you have to really set. Just click apply. I already have mine set, so I'm going to hit cancel. And we can see here, uh, I think a few seconds ago, it was at 65%, and it's automatically adjusting itself. Now, just one more option to show you. Let's drop down into the shell. And if we do a MOTD watch, of course, now we're going to see our miners. But if we also look at the top here, here's CPU miner. That's the one doing um, Raptorium. If we hit number two, there's Team Red miner. Eight is your system log. Nine is your auto fan. So if we look in here, we can actually see it checks the temperatures about once a minute, and it sees that the RX Vega 6, 56, the target is 65 degrees, the memory is only 57 and it will let you know if it starts changing the temperatures up and down and why it changed the temperatures up and down so there is some readout and information that you can get from this so that's basically all i wanted to share with you today i think this feature is a great feature to utilize in hive os but i see so many people not using it use it it will save your fans it will save your ears it may save a few watts fans don't pull that much power but that's not the big thing. You save your fans, you'll save your GPUs if you're in a room where you think it's never gonna get hot and one day it gets hot, you're gonna save it. So it's a nice security blanket. Thanks for watching. Come say hi on the Mining Misfits Discord and say hi to everyone else too. And I will see you on the next video.